So boys, it's 6pm and EA have just dropped a brand new promo. Now, I do not know completely what this promo is actually. Um, it says fantasy foot, but I don't fully know what it means. So what I'm going to do boys is I'm going to go through what the promo is. And well, we've got this incredible looking fantasy foot Simon objective, which I'm going to go through how to complete him as quick as possible boys. So stay tuned. So boys, if you're wanting a team like mine on the screen right now, on a strike partnership like this, then I suggest you head over to the link in my description and it will take you to this page where you can select PS, Xbox, PC services and you can buy players, coins, whatever you want. Use 7 Byte is where to go. They are the best in the market for coins and players. To save yourself a further 5% off your order, use Salty at checkout. Okay boys, so, Fantasy Foot. So, in the news, we should have something about this promo. Um, so, celebrate fantasy foot with players who are poised to make an impact for their clubs as they fight key late-season battles. Um, fantasy foot brings a new dimension of live items with the chance for players to earn up to a plus three overall boost based on their individual contributions in the next five domestic league matches. Starting April 1st. So, boys, this is completely based off um, off how good the players are playing in real life, pretty much. Uh, individually as well, that is. So, it sounds a little bit like the ones to watch cards and team of the week and stuff like that. You get a team of the week, your ones to watch card goes up. Uh, so, these have a possibility of going up three ratings. So, there's a Sandro Tonali SBC. Uh, he looks very decent, actually. And uh, today we are focusing on. Oh wow! Look at them boys. I have. This is my first time seeing those cards. The Rashford Saint Maximan will be unbelievable. Striker card as well. That looks incredible. Um, but boys, I've waffled on for too long. Uh, we've got to go through the fantasy foot Simon objective. Um, in fact, boys, I, I apologise, I've just said I've waffled on for too long. There is also an objective where you can get yourself a hundred, a 100k pack, uh, which is Classic Cup, and you're completing... Oh, you're just winning matches. That is ve that is a sick uh, S uh, SPC objective from here, that. Look at all the packs you're getting, boys. So you've just got to win in the foot-friendly mode, Classic Cup, 14 times... And you're getting yourself a bunch of packs alongside a rare, a jumbo rare players pack, which is at, uh, valued at 100k. Ah, I can barely speak. Right, so finally, we're going on to Simon, boys. I apologise, I've waffled on for too long. So, score using a forward in the live foot friendly savvy signings with a full squad of players bought for less than 2,000 coins. That is an interesting requirement. Uh, and that includes your subs as well. So I believe all of these are with a team with each individual player worth less. Well, bought for less than 2,000 coins. Um, so score using a forward, assist five with through balls, uh, win four and score in 10 separate matches. So boys, you're playing a minimum of 10 matches anyway. Uh, you can't do it any faster than that. Uh, it'll be on Play Online, won't it? Savvy signings, where is that? So what requirements have we got? You're not allowed any loan players and you're not allowed any first owned players. And as it said, boys, you have to have every player bought for less than 2,000 coins. Um, so, I mean, everyone's teams will differ. I mean, uh, there's not going to be one specific team that will be the best i don't think uh because prices are up and down and up and down the market's everywhere um and to be honest i don't really understand what the market is doing at this moment in time because i've not been playing the game uh, so let's have a look at just average goalkeepers um so you see you can get some i, I bet you could um get an areola for less than 2000 coins surely and if you can, boys, I'd genuinely recommend snatching him up. He's an absolute beast. Cheap beast. Or oh, there's Nick Pope. Um, Burnley. There he is. Yep, 
he's worth less than 2k, he could use Nick Pope. Um, so, do you know what, um, boys, we'll concept a little team out. Uh, we'll get Pope in goal. We'll just go for a cheap little Prem team. Uh, one that's decent and one that will obviously fit the requirements. So you're not allowed any loans, not allowed any first own players. Um, and you have to buy them for less than 2,000 coins, boys. So just make sure you're doing that. Uh, right back wise, who are we going to go with? So, is Wan Bissaka less than 2k? That would be a very brilliant little buy if he is. So, Wan Bissaka. Uh, we need to search right back, don't we? So, he isn't in the Prem. We'll just have a look on the transfer market. Uh, Nelson Semedo, you could use Fredericks. Uh, in my opinion, I'd go with Semedo. Um, he's just average, isn't he? He's just he'll do the job. You don't need a, a fantastic uh, right back, do you? Do you know what, boys? To speed up the process, I'm just gonna use who I think is under two k, and if they aren't, just find a close, a relatively close alternative. Um, so who is that? Nelson Semedo. Uh, I believe he's a right wing back naturally on the game. So, where is he? There he is. Um, there he is. Right, centre-backs. Who shall we go for? Who looks cheap and usable? That is what we're here for. So, cheap and usability. Romero, surely he's less than two. I reckon you can get Gomez for less than two as well. Left-back. Um, Dinier won't be less than two. I believe Reguilon is... And he's a decent little player on the game, actually. Just going to go with a standard 4-4-2, boys. Uh, right mid, you can go Rafinha, Bailey. Uh, I'd go Rafinha. Or you could go Lucas Moura or something like that. If they are not... If Rafinha's more than 2 kedge, go with Lucas Moura. He'll do a, a good job um, himself. Centre mids, you could whack a CDM card in here if you want. That little... Um, Lacelso is a bit of a decent all rounder or Saul. Um, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's completely up to you, boys. If you can get a Kovacic for less than two k, I'd recommend getting him. Um, just experiment with it, boys. So I'm gonna put Kovacic in anyway because I quite like him on this game. Um, left mid, who will be less than two k? And good. So Diaz. Oh, we've got three good selections here. Uh, Diaz, how much are you? So, yeah, we're going with a bit of Diaz. No, in fact, because he's four-star skills, uh, we're going to keep it a bit exciting. We want a five-star skill player in, don't we? We'll go ASM. His shooting's a lot less um, quality than Diaz is, but oh well. Strikers, we need some decent finishes. We need to be scoring, because you need scoring 10, don't you, boys? So... Um, less than 2k, I reckon we can get, you can probably get a Danny Ings, he's a little bit of a beast, whack a hunter on him, he'll be fine, and Antonio, or Wilson, Wilson may, uh, may do a decent little job, and then your bench boys, I mean, are you going to bring anyone off, I don't know, but, um, just make sure they're all worth less than 2k, I don't even have to go through that, so, that don't really matter. Just make sure each player on the bench you buy and that they are less than 2k. Um, so, squad-wise, boys, what we are doing with this squad is scoring in 10 separate matches. And remember, it's all got to be in the game mode savvy signings. So, we're scoring in 10. We're winning 4. And we are assisting with through balls in... You, uh, I forgot what it is. We'll go back to one, boys. Um, so, we are scoring in 10. Um, winning 4. Assisting 5 with through balls. And scoring using a forward, which we'll do uh, without even thinking about it. And, uh, yeah, so, boys, you can do all of this in a minimum of 10 games. If you can score within... If you can score in every game for 10 games, um, 
win four of the ten games, assist in five of the ten games, just using a through ball. Uh, so that's just a pass with the Y button, or I think it's triangle on PS, I don't know. And then just score. But boys, that is, it's as simple as that really. Just with this one, it's mainly about the team that you're going into it with. Um, so just make sure you've got the right team and and like you've got to have a decent bench as well boys because if you've got a bench of players with players that you've bought for more than 2000 coins it won't count towards the objectives because look it's saying in brackets including subs so every sub has to be bought from the transfer market they can't be first owned um, and it must be for less than 2k I hope this helped, boys. If it has, drop a like and drop a sub if you haven't already. That would be greatly appreciated. But for now, boys, I am done and I will see you in the next one. Peace.